Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you're new, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is actually day two of seven days of Christmas with Brie. I'm doing seven days of Christmas. So I'm uploading every single day this week leading up to Christmas day. So make sure you are subscribed one and make sure you have your post notifications turned on for me so you guys don't miss a video because i am uploading every single day this week so this is day two and for this video i'm really excited to do this for you guys because i'm going to be doing all of my favorite nude lipstick or neutral lipstick combos that work for basically deeper skin tones brown skin um like even if you're light skin but i would just say for people of color um black people deeper skin tone dark skin the spectrum of melanin basically even if you are white you could still pull these off you just have to switch the lip liners around i feel like nudes work for all skin tones really and um i feel like anytime i hear especially a black woman say like oh i can't wear that because it's too light or you know my skin's too dark and eh, wrong i'm gonna show you how you can make any shade of nude work for you and it's literally all with lip liner so i have all my favorite nude combinations here in front of me and i'm going to share them with you guys because i feel like every single time that i either go out or i post on instagram or i post on my story or whatever somebody there's always one person that asks me about what is on my lips so right now i don't have anything um on my lips and i am going to voluntarily put my lips through hell for you guys and we're going to get through these lip combinations i have um like my higher end products as well as dupes and drugstore combinations that you guys can use as well so there's definitely something here for you stay tuned and yeah let's just get started i'm gonna zoom you guys in i love that i can say that now i, I think that's good so my lips do have some chapstick on them and the first lip combo that i'm gonna show you guys is the one where um I actually was wearing this in a TikTok that I went viral in. So I'm just going to show that one first. So for pretty much every combination, you guys are going to hear me say that I use Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. And this is my favorite lip liner. I feel like every woman of color, per person of color, black person that wears makeup should have Chestnut. Or at least a color like Chestnut, a dark brown lip liner. Because this is going to be like your universal lip liner to use for every single nude if you watch my videos you know like my get ready my get ready with me's i'm always like i'm gonna use chestnut liner i'm gonna use chestnut liner so you are gonna start with chestnut liner and i like to overline my top lip a little bit so i'm gonna zoom i'm zoomed in girl but yeah so i'm gonna overline my top lip a little bit if you have full lips already don't be scared to overline them. Overline them. Okay? So, I just do a little bit. I just do a little bit. And you can see there's already a lift that's like giving my lips like a little bit more of like a, like a pout. And that's the look that I like to go for. If that's a little bit much for you, you don't have to do that. But to me, that's like really what makes the lip like come together. So, chestnut is on now sometimes i literally just wear chestnut and throw gloss on top but that's not really like a whole combo we're gonna do mac bronx lipstick it's a really good shade of nude a pretty universal shade that works on a range of like deeper skin tones um yeah so bronx this is one of my favorite lip combos and yeah it is a matte lipstick. Personally, I love to see a contrast between my lip liner and my nude lip because it just looks cute to me, okay? 
so this is bronx and chestnut mm, yes now this is just the lip liner and the lipstick alone this is with no gloss on top now next there's a few glosses that i like to use on top of um bronx and they're just like a range of different colors and that's spite which is the lip gloss lip glass from mac moth to flame which is also a this is a dazzle glass from mac and then fenty beauty uh sweet mouth their gloss bomb so i switch it up between those or i'll do a good old clear beauty supply store gloss but let me show you guys the combo that everybody was like i need to know this lip combo on my little my tiktok that i put so this is moth to flame and it does have glitter and normally i would be like eh, i'm turned off by glitter one of the girls that i follow she was she was wearing moth to flame so i was like hmm this looks cute let me get it and i actually really like it so Ooh, look at that look at that let me zoom nah let me zoom in so y'all can see a little bit better do y'all see that mmm yes and there's sparkles in it but like you can't even really tell that much and I feel like if anything it enhances the glossiness mmm that's so cute yes so cute we love a good nude we love a good nude pretty much whether i put this gloss on top or this gloss on top the dazzle glass or spite it usually all gives me the same effect if you want to dupe for the spite lip glass i'll go for the nyx butter gloss in cinnamon roll which is literally the perfect nude. For a while, they were out of this and then they just brought it back randomly. And when they brought it back, I got two of them. So I'm just gonna hold up Spite and the um, Butter Gloss side by side. They are practically the same. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my like, I don't know what to call this, like my, my very like brown nude. I have like my regular version to this and then I also have dupes so again we're gonna go in with chestnut liner from MAC so let me just touch it up okay now these next two things I'm about to show you they are discontinued I'm sorry but I'm I want to show you guys that this just so you can have an idea of the spectrum of the shade of nude that I'm talking about okay so and I have a dupe so don't worry this next color is called kinkster from MAC Pretty much all the nude lipsticks that I wear are from MAC, not gonna lie. The dupe that I have for this is Morphe's Matte Lipstick in Boo. And I'm gonna put these side by side so you guys can see they are almost, almost the same. Oh, these are like a more brownie nude and Bronx was more of like a topish nude. Some of you are probably going to be like, I don't know, these all look the same to me. But for me, like every nude is not the same. There's literally a different shade of nude that I'm always wearing. And obviously most of you guys don't think it's the same either because you wouldn't ask me what lip I'm wearing when I do wear them. So I'm not the only person that thinks this way. So um, Kingster by MAC. More of a warm tone nude warmer than bronx can you guys see okay and then i'm gonna put the primordial mac lip gloss on top and this one is discontinued but the dupe for this one is also a morphe one which is the lip gloss um chill You see what I mean? This is a difference. If y'all can't tell that this is a difference, I don't know really what to tell you because to me, this does not look like the combination that I just had on. You see what I mean? It's more of a warmer nude. This one right here is the Maybelline 
um let's see this is the maybelline superstay matte ink nude matte lipstick and this is another dupe that you can do for kingster and this is in the shade chai genius okay so this next nude that i'm going to share with you guys is what i like to call my pale nude almost kind of muted nude for when sometimes I like to go really smoky and dark on my eyes or just like a really bold look on my eyes and I kind of want the lips to be as muted as possible this is what I'll do so I already start with chestnut lip liner again I told you like this is the staple you need this but in addition to chestnut I like to also use cork which is a lighter brown and sometimes people like to use cork by itself, but I sometimes feel like when I use it by itself, it looks a little bit weird on my lips. So I like to mix it in with chestnut. So I'm gonna go in with cork lip liner on top. Not so much like right on top of this initial line that I did. Let me zoom. You see where I'm placing it inside? So that way it can get more of a gradient effect when I'm putting the paler nude on top. So we're going to put cork. My lips are so dry. We're going to do Bare Bling from MAC. Now as you guys can see, this is a, a lighter nude. Definitely a lighter nude. Not sure if they still make Bare Bling. If they don't, a dupe for this one. Well, a color that's close to this one would be Creme de Nude by MAC as well. But I don't know any like drugstore lipsticks that are close to this because I just, I haven't really looked for one just yet. And I place this in the middle. Now it looks crazy, which is why you got to put the cork, okay? I don't go overboard with the bare bling because it can look crazy. And I like to sometimes go back in with cork and blend it in a little bit more. It gives more of a gradient effect so it doesn't look as crazy. You know what I mean? And then on top, I like to do see-through lip glass by MAC. And mine is running low a little bit, but I have another one on deck. But yeah, this is see-through and it's also like a pale nude gloss pale nude gloss I don't have a dupe for this one I do not have a dupe for this one I'm sorry but yeah so I'm going to show you guys yeah see mm, I love this when I do a smoky eye like a black smoky eye I love doing this lip it just brings it together so nicely and you can see a little bit where I put cork and then chestnut is like all the way here so that that way it's not so much of a harsh contrast between the light light nude and my lip liners so yep that's bare bling mac cork lip liner and chestnut okay so the next lip combos that i'm going to show you guys are more of are more of on the pinker ish nude side basically the way how i do that is mainly with lip pencils i don't really go for a lipstick that's a super pink nude so of course again i still use chestnut as a base for this combination i'm using the morphe pencil in bay which is like a pinkish pencil and i'm just gonna like kind of fill in fill my lips in with this pencil kind of as my lipstick so that you guys can see it definitely has a more pinky tone to it and then on top I'm going to use MAC cultured lip glass which is a very like pink sheer ish tone So yeah, this is a more pinker-ish nude, pink glossy look, and this does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. I don't have a dupe for cultured, sorry guys, I don't have a dupe for this one, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Cute, especially if you want to go for like a more baby doll cutesy type of look. So this is also another pinkish toned lip combo and I'm also combining lip 
um, lip liners as well so I used chestnut of course and now I'm using hover which was discontinued but I have I know other um, dupes that you can do for hover um, you can do spice um, you can do whirl you can do soar actually not so much whirl it's more on the, well it could work you could do soar those are all colors by Mac that are very similar to this pinkish tone liner but I think spice is definitely the closest to hover and this is kind of it adds to that like I don't know how to it's like a it's like a terracotta nude I don't really know how to describe it it's not super pink but it's more of like a pinkish brown so I mix that in with chestnut and now for the lipstick I'm gonna use peach stock which I think they discontinued peach stock. I'm so sorry guys that I'm using like colors that are discontinued. I think the color that is closest to peach stock from MAC might be Cherish. If I'm not mistaken, I think Cherish. Yeah. It's similar to Bare Bling but with a little bit more pink in it. Blankety. Blankety is a good dupe. I don't think it's coming up as pinky on camera, but it is, okay? It is. I do the Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth, which is like a soft pearl type of nude. It doesn't take away too much from the color. So it's more like a softer, pale pink nude. It's a really beautiful combo. I feel like now you can guys can see it's a little bit more pinky tone, especially when you add the Hover lip liner. Oh, also a dupe for, a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Balm is this Maybelline, um, Glift, Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. And this is in the shade ice and it's another just like a pale nude that can like give you the same effect as the sweet mouth gloss balm okay guys so i think i covered pretty much everything and like i said i mean once you kind of have like the basics like the starters of your nude lip i feel like that's when you can kind of experiment more with like different combos and just try different things and then you'll be able to come up with like different stuff like before i would always get stuck in the same combination that i'll always do which would be chestnut and spite chestnut and spite lip glass and then i just kind of got more colors and experimented more with different shades and that's how i came up with all these different combos that i do and to some of you you may think hey these look all the same for me they are not and I just wanted to share with you guys different combos, especially, you know, if you want to do a really light nude or a really dark nude. I will say one, like, I never do, like, a true, like, a dark brown. I don't really like the way how that looks. I usually like a little bit of a contrast in my nude, so you'll never really see me wear a darker brown lipstick. Although it does look really good on some people. I just don't like how it looks on me that much. So I'm always just rocking different nudes. I may wear a red lip occasionally i don't really wear bold lips like that anymore i did go through a phase where i literally collected a whole bunch of different mac lipsticks i had like heroin ruby woo i still have ruby woo all fired up um flat out fabulous all those bold loud candy yum yum oh my gosh candy yum yum all those colors like that i used to have and collect and you know switch out but now i literally just wear different shades of nude this is my life now I will list all of my combinations down below in the description box as well as the dupes. But yeah, so these are all of my new lip combos. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know down below which combination was your favorite. If I put you on to any of these combinations and you end up trying them, please tag me. Please tag me if you post it on Instagram or anything like that tag me i would love to see that and i would just love to know that you guys took my recommendation 
I just really hope that this video was helpful because I'm just like I don't know if you guys enjoyed this it's just me trying on lipsticks this whole time but yeah again make sure you guys are subscribed with your post notifications on because I am posting every single day this week so don't miss out <laughs> I'm posting every day this week so don't miss out yeah subscribe to my channel if you have not already um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video